Welcome aboard to Facebook Live September <laughs> edition. I don't even know what day it is. Uh, you know, some of you guys are back to your normal lives working. Uh, I'm not. I, I the last show I performed was March fifteenth, and that I haven't worked since then. So I actually. I don't even know what days of the week it is. It's been a little bit helpful that the kids are back in school. Uh, in Las Vegas, it's all online schooling. Uh, there's no option for live schooling. And between Kate and I, we have five girls. So we have five individual laptops, five girls logging in, managing the, uh, the school, and we're full-time school teachers now. So I don't even have time to go back to hypnosis. As a matter of fact, I quit. I'm, an, I'm a full-time teacher. So it's been uh, it's been challenging, but uh, we're getting it handled. You know, we're getting it handled. Uh, all right. So let's see here. Um, okay. Uh, hello from Portugal. Nice to see you. I've never been to Portugal. But I'd like to go. Um, hello from Edmonton. Derek saying uh, Edmonton's my home stomping grounds. As most of you guys know, uh, hockey's all up there right now. Uh, Stanley Cup playoffs. I just got a text from my buddy Phil Pritchard. Um, who is the keeper of the cup? And he sent me a photo a week ago, and he's like, "I'm in the bubble." And uh, Phil and I talk quite often. And uh, I said, "Hey, I'm not an entertainer anymore, so maybe I can get a job with uh, being uh, helping out with the keeping of the Stanley Cup." And he replied, "No." So there you go. All right. And um, let's see here. Hello, hello, hello. People see my show a few times. Great. I appreciate that. Chris Kids checking in from Vegas, uh, from zip code eight nine one one seven. That's over in uh, Summerlin, right? Um, hi from Salem, Oregon. Uh, hello from your hometown, Ionet. Uh, all right, have I heard when shows are starting back up again? There is no indication that shows are starting up anytime soon. However, there's been some rumblings that they want to open venues up to 250 seats. Now, those are rumblings. That's not from the governor. That's just rumblings. It's the most positive rumblings we've been hearing uh, since this whole pandemic started. Um, also, Planet Hollywood is the hotel. We, there's no official opening yet. However, some employees apparently got notification that uh, it will open October 10th. So with October 10th on the horizon, that is not too far away. Uh, so if the hotel opens, maybe things start moving. Uh, maybe we're opening before American Thanksgiving. Uh, maybe we're opening before uh, the holiday season, Christmas season, or maybe not till 2021. No idea, um, but we're just going to kind of see what happens. Um, yeah. So, hello from England, hello from Germany. Hi, guys. Welcome aboard. Must be a weird hour for you guys to be watching this. I don't even know. Oh, England's probably eight hours. So, 8 p.m. at night, I think. Um, Chris Kidd, love your show. Seen it a couple of times. I think you're lying. Um, have you seen it more than 50 times? I'm gonna guess it's somewhere between 40 and 60. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe it's more than that. But it's a little creepy though, to be honest. You probably, I think that's how many times you've seen it. Tell me, let me know. All right. Um, hello from Ireland. Uh, okay, returning to normal. I've been full-time retired since 2013. Yeah, I know, it's been crazy. Uh, it's, uh, it hasn't been normal. Uh, Cheryl says she's been hypnotized by me uh, when I was in Vegas, when they were in Vegas a couple of years ago. Um, that's great. Hopefully you can come back and be hypnotized again. Uh, Jamie's asking, how important are deepeners? Uh, talking about hypnosis, uh, when you're hypnotizing people, it depends. Sometimes I'll have a group of participants who are super open and outgoing and and respond to hypnosis really easily, and I'm actually cutting off sections of the induction to get through to the show as quickly as possible. Other times when I'm doing the hypnotic induction, people are not responding well. They're not slumped over in their seats. They're very resistant. Their you know, shoulders are up. They don't really want to relax. So I will actually spend a little more time doing some deepening techniques. So, But I mix deepening techniques in with inductions because they're all interchangeable, right? I do a progressive relaxation, relaxing the whole body. I also do overload techniques in the middle of the induction like the bucket and the balloon because um, I want to overload the conscious mind 
while relaxing the subconscious, right? So this is, uh, you know, kind of more of my pattern. I like to throw everything at them but the kitchen sink as best that I can. And I also like to use challenges such as eye closure, they can't open their eyes, um, you know, they feel like their eyes are locked or their hands are closed together and they can't pull their hands apart because challenges act like deepening techniques because what happens is there's a deepening by realization. The conscious mind may be participating slightly, right? Thinking to themselves, I feel pretty relaxed. The subconscious is entering them in the hypnosis, but the conscious mind is going, I feel pretty relaxed, you know, I, I don't know. And then when they can't pull their hands apart, that switch goes on where all of a sudden there's that realization, oh shit, I'm into hypnosis, right? And when that happens, you get that shift where the subconscious mind it becomes more prevalent than the conscious, and that's when hypnosis begins to happen. So uh, there you go. Hopefully that was helpful. Uh, Mike's saying he was one of the st stars on one of the shows in late February. Saw you live three times now. Nothing better to do in Vegas. You rock, man. Thank you so much. Uh, all right. Well, that's really nice. I uh, appreciate that. Uh, Miss Henderson, um, no plans to return to Henderson. Uh, you miss in and out burgers? <laughs> uh, yeah. They eat them and they're in and they're, they're out. Uh, so that's a little, uh, a little rough. Uh, all right. So... Burns Lake, BC. Hello, man. You guys are. You guys even have internet over there? Wow. Burns Lake. Yeah. <laughs> All right. That's uh, that's way out in the sticks. Uh, so hello. A lot of people saying hello, which is awesome. Uh, Shane says, "I love your work. Thank you. Uh, best of what you do. Well, appreciate that. That's an opinion, I suppose. It's an opinion that you and I hold both hold together. I'm just kidding. Uh, interested in hypnotherapy training. Have you done some comedy hypnosis training? You've done some comedy hypnosis training and started doing some shows before the pandemic hit. Will the hypnotherapy course provide the 100 hours required to be certified with the National Guild of Hypnotists? The answer to the question is yes. Um, matter of fact, we're supposed to start it next week and uh, modules come out every week and we, everyone kind of watches together and then the following week we get on a Zoom uh, and speak for an hour and a half um, uh, about, you know, the lesson and if you guys have any questions you have access to me that way uh, which is a really cool thing and the class the hypnotherapy it, just to give you an idea um, I do talk a lot uh, the hypnosis 101 class the beginning hypnosis class that I have is like 21 and a half hours or something like that that's a beginning hypnosis class and that one's online and available if you want to register for that one the hypno or the stage hypnosis training is like 44 hours it's like double that and we just finished that one a couple of weeks ago and it was really a lot of fun. Uh, so the hip stage hypnosis is 44 hours. And then the hypnotherapy we're doing right now module by module. Don't know how many hours it's gonna be, but it will be a lot. Included with the, tw the 20 hour, 21 hours of hypnosis 101, easily will be 100 hours. So uh, yeah, that's, that's gonna be a very, very in-depth course. We just started getting into it, or I started recording it. The class, like I said, will open next uh, Thursday, October 1st. Uh, we'll drop the first module. So if you want to get in on that, um, if you register for the hypnotherapy, you get the Hypnosis 101 for free. And you can kind of catch up on that one uh, while we get into the hypnotherapy. So it's a great class. I'm happy to answer more specific questions about it. If you've got some, by all means, fire them away. Um, am I growing a quarantine beard? No, this is nice and short. Um, you know, it was longer earlier, but now I usually keep it pretty short. Um, Aaron saying she was hypnotized in, with her husband in the same show, husband and wife on stage. I love that. I think that's great. Uh, Chris Preston, hey, what's up, brother? Good to good to see from uh, hear from you. Um, will I do more Facebook Fridays? Yeah, we did a few of them back in May and June, and and then I got lonely and I missed you guys and figured I would come and and talk to you guys. So I don't know, maybe we'll do some more. Um, okay, uh, show was the favorite one to watch and send a guest to. Moved to San Antonio. How are my beautiful daughters? They're wonderful, thank you for asking. Uh, they, uh, like I said, we've got five of them. We got 16, 14, 12, eight, and seven. And uh, four of those are mine. And the eight-year-old is Kate's. Kate uh, has an eight-year-old. And they are getting along famously, and it's been just wonderful. Uh, so the eight and the seven are very, very close in age, and they're very, very close in, in friendship, and. Uh, there, it's just been wonderful. So that has been great. Uh, and we got two dogs. I don't know if you guys knew that. We got uh, two dogs. I have, here's one of them. Um, this is Apollo. You guys saw photos of him as a puppy on Facebook, but he's getting really big. So this is Apollo. And Apollo is a border collie. I don't know which I can't get him to look at you. 
It's okay. It's okay, buddy. Hey, look. It's okay. Look. He's a, a border collie with some nice blue eyes. So this is Apollo. And the other one is Artemis. And I don't know where she's at. Artemis. Maybe, I think she might have went inside through the doggy door, but we've named them Artemis and Apollo. Artemis is the uh, keeper kind of of, um, oh, she's coming up. Uh, Artemis is coming out. We're bringing her out. Come on up. So Artemis is, oh, hey, yeah, hello. Hey, good to see you. Good to see you. This is Artemis and, uh, and Artemis and Apollo. There you go. So we, the family's growing and uh, it's been uh, enjoyable and uh, fun training them. Uh, but here you can kind of see them. Hey, hi guys. So, uh, that's the doggies. And uh, so, kids are having a lot of fun with that. And everything's been going great. Uh, you know, it's been... A lot of people ask me, do I miss performing? Yeah, but I've done a lot of shows. A lot of shows. I've done over 3,500 in Vegas alone. I actually haven't been missing it. I've been enjoying just chilling and hanging out. And uh, that's been awesome. You know, I've watched all of season one of Netflix. So I'm waiting for season two to come out. Um, uh, and uh, yeah, that's a dumb joke. But uh, yeah, it's been it's been awesome. It's been really, really great. Um, uh, Leslie saying she was hypnotized by me. Oh, hi, June. I didn't even know you. Hey, nice to see you. I haven't seen or heard from you in years. I hope you're well. Um, June Benny, that's of course June, is who I was talking to. Uh, Leslie, hypnotized by me in Vegas and first saw me on Royal Caribbean cruise lines and met your family. Oh God, my family are nuts. They're absolutely nuts. Sometimes they're embarrassing, so but they are really fun. My family knows how to have fun, so but they're really crazy. Um, ben is saying, I'm a flopper. Uh, are you talking hypnosis flopper, or are you talking that age is getting the best of you? And I don't know what you mean, but anyway, uh, uh, we put more footage of previous shows on the YouTube channel. Yeah, we might. Um, uh, yeah, hi, Paulette. Hi, Yvonne. You guys are wonderful people. Uh, you know, Ryan Martin's joining. Hey, what's up? You know, this is a great. You know, a lot of you guys are, it's nice to see your faces and your, uh, uh, you guys signing in. Uh, favorite part of the show is when I turn the belt into a snake. It's actually one of my favorites as well. Uh, Troy Lorenz asking, does alcohol or drugs affect a subject's ability to be hypnotized? It helps them volunteer. It, it, once they have three or four drinks, they realize, hey, going up on stage to be hypnotized is a good idea. And uh, so alcohol helps there. But uh, sometimes if they've had one or two drinks, it just helps that edge go away. But any more than that, and what happens is that their nervous system gets relaxed or they're being hypnotized and they pass out. So there's not a whole lot you can do with someone who's passed out. So alcohol uh, can be you know, more trouble than anything, especially if they've uh, you know, had seven or eight or 10 drinks. Um, and worse than that is they get dancing and moving around. If they've drank uh, too much alcohol, um, they throw up. And that has happened enough. Uh, so anyway, um, it's yeah, it's a showstopper. Uh, all right, let's see. Oh, uh, Brent's been following the um, the chat, so he typed in on my behalf because it looks like I typed it. That the if you guys want the stress relief uh, audio program, it's free. Just I'm giving it to you guys because the pandemic sucks. People are still stressed. They're stressed about money. They're stressed about you know life in general. So if you you know want to get a free stress relief, uh, the link is in here. Okay. Um, Okay, uh, uh, Brian says that the app crashed when you mentioned you're teaching, but are you still doing shows again or not? Yeah, we don't know. Uh, we don't know when it's gonna open. Who knows, maybe it'll never open. Maybe things will change, uh, I, who knows? But the intent is, yeah, we're probably gonna come back at some point, um, but I don't know when. So we'll see. Uh, okay, uh, hello from Edmonton, hello from hometown, just lots of, lots of uh, Mike's like, bring Kate. <laughs> Bring Kate on. We've never seen her. Um, you guys have seen her. She's been on one of my things before. Uh, let me just let me just ask. I don't know if she's available or not. So I'll ask, and if she's available, I'll have her come say hi. Um, so, okay. Let's see if she will. She's helping with the kids with homework and all that kind of stuff, and keeping them. Cause all the kids are in school right now, so it might be a little hard to get her away. Uh, hey, Phil Corey, what's up? I know you, you probably have missed me. I've missed you. You come to the show like every two weeks, and which is weird. And now you have a, you're not coming to the show anymore, which makes it difficult um, uh, to connect. Uh, also, it looks like Brent put the one-on-one -on -one online class and the hypnotherapy training online if you want to uh, get more information about that. Oh, oh, 
I need a big favor from you guys. Um, I don't know if Brent, if you can do this, if you put the link in, but can you guys vote for me for the best of Las Vegas? We won it like, you know, quite a few times. You guys are awesome. The Marks of Art Army has been kicking ass when it comes time to, uh, to vote, but it's really easy. You can vote every day until like next Wednesday or something. Um, and it's like two clicks, click uh, entertainment, and then comedian, best comedy show, Marks of Art Comedy Hypnosis, and then vote in another category, the value show, because we're the best value in the strip, and click Marks of Art Comedy Hypnosis for value, and then submit, that's it. You don't have to do anything else, it's really easy. And um, then uh, I can win the best valued, funny, closed show on the strip, which would be an honor to win the best closed show on the strip, so that'd be really cool. Uh, Kate's here. Hi. Hey. Hi. Come on in. Kate's here. Hi. Come on in. Come on in. Come on in. Have a seat. Have a seat. Uh, so Kate's here, um, and uh, they were just asking questions. They're like, "Where's Kate?" And I'm like, "I don't know. She's handling kids." We've got five kids. You, we have two border collie, but you're the border collie because you round up the kids every day. I do. Yeah, round them up, and then they're like, "Oh, get to your room and work. Get on the computer." And they come out to the kitchen, and they're like, "Oh, are you done your class? Well, I just needed a snack." Yeah, it's it's five kids, four schools, and two start times. 100% at home. So uh, So you're a school teacher. I was going to work out and I haven't gotten to it yet. You're wearing all your workout stuff. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. But you, I mean, how are things with you? They, they, I don't know if they want to know what's happening with you. What's, how, how are things? Things are chugging right along. Still, you know, um, bringing in uh, new clients every week, which has been awesome. Yeah, if you want to do hypnotherapy, you, you can you just book a free 20 minute consultation and then learn about what she does. You're, you're the exact opposite of high pressure. You're like the worst salesperson ever. You're too kind, too nice, and you're like, that's what I do, and you know, you can reach out to me if you'd like, bye. Well, I pretty much do. I let you uh, send, you know, book on your own time after we talk, and you have a chance to think about it. I wanna make sure I'm the right fit for you, and, and vice versa. I also have um, some clients that I do regular coaching with that come to me weekly, um, and that is a combination of coaching and hypnotherapy and transforming therapy, but you, depending on what's... And you specialize in sexual trauma, sexual pleasure, relationship coaching, that's your specialty, but was, what is it that you primarily do? I would say actually that's my generally been my focus. I mean, it's my specialty is my focus, but half of my clients are for other things that have, are... You know, like what? People that come to me, everything from, you know, the fear of public speaking, confidence, finding lost things. Uh, I have clients that just come for personal growth, uh, coaching clients that come uh, to talk about, you know, they wanna better their communication skills, they want to grow as people, they wanna improve their relationships and their, um, how they, obviously right now in um, the pandemic, you know, it's made a lot of people uh, reevaluate or maybe they have job changes and with that brings a lot of turmoil yeah they found out that they either really like their spouse and they want to work on it more mm -hmm. or they found out that they really don't like their spouse mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, managing your sex life when you're at home with kids all the time mm -hmm. that can be tricky and uh, but also things that are not sex related because when we're talking about the subconscious anybody out there that's a hypnotist as well knows this that you know whether we're talking about fear of flying or we're talking about um, confidence in a sexual situation there are universal emotional drivers behind all of those things right it's it's how you relate to yourself your own self-confidence your belief systems self-limiting beliefs so really you know it doesn't have to be sex for me to help uh, because you know it's a, these are there's universal emotions that are driving the issues that you're having whether that's with communication um, how you feel at the workplace right you know, the belief in yourself or if you're afraid to get on a plane there you go mm -hmm. so there you go now you're all brought up to speed with what Kate's up to let's see some other questions here um, I, okay yeah I've watched all the shows many times and books over and over again but yeah there's lots of questions <laughs> Uh, taking course but finding it difficult to practicing on real live people. Friends and family are difficult. Any recommendations? The problem with friends and family is they knew you before you were a hypnotist, right? Mm -hmm. So they knew you when you were just a normal person. And so that's the challenging thing. And so they don't see you as an authority. And when you're dealing with hypnosis, 
and building rapport, you need to be the expert, right? So that is very, very challenging. So it's always better to use somebody outside that circle. That's not always the case, you know? I mean, you know, for me, hypnotize my dad, and you know, I'm like, hey, do you want to be hypnotized? Like, no, get away from me with that. I don't need that. I don't need that in my life. <laughs> and then my mom, I do relaxation sessions with her, and my mom's easily hypnotized. They're, but so they're two different, you know, responses. But my dad, like, still, I've been a hypnotist for, <laughs> I don't know, 25, 26 years, and he's like zero interested. I would also say that. Um it's really how you frame it to people. I mean, it's different when it's, again, the person that's known you forever, they don't see you as the hypnotist, they see you as Frank who's learning hypnosis and needs to practice. But when you approach someone, maybe, you know, saying, I'm learning, I wanna practice, or you wanna try something, or I'm work, is usually, I find, not a great way. You kind of fake it till you make it, because uh, when you present yourself as the hypnotist, then they see you as the hypnotist, and you're already halfway there. And so I really try to avoid ever framing something in um, practicing my skills. You've done a, I know in your course, one of the things you talk about is, um, is how you can challenge people to want to rise to the occasion and want to please you. You know, when I mean, you start off with a little thing, you say, well, do you want to try something a little more challenging? Now all of a sudden they're not thinking, or you, can you hypnotize me? They're thinking, can I, ri can, I, can I rise to the challenge? Can I focus? Can, can I, I, can I do this? Yeah. Not can you do this? So I, I think that sometimes there can be some tweaks to your approach, but also as a person, I'll get out of here, I'll be here in a second, but I, I work. No, I like you. you almost. This is a Kate Sheeler Facebook Live <laughs> featuring Mark Savard. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Um, I work almost all online. Mm -hmm. And uh, you really can work with people over Zoom. So if that opportunity ever comes your way, take it. It's a, it's a different medium, but the principles are the same mm -hmm. and uh, the effectiveness uh, can be the same. So if that is something that you can end up doing, well, I encourage really you great, to do it. You're really good at answering these questions. Who is your teacher? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Mark so Spire. I said I, did, okay. I didn't miss uh, you know doing shows and somebody wrote, what? Don't you miss your assistants? Somebody named Summer. I don't know who that is. Uh, <laughs> Summer. I'll have to look that up. Oh, of course we miss summer. We miss summer so much. And it's uh, Hal's birthday. Uh, yeah, uh, Hal's birthday today. I saw on Twitter mm -hmm. that, uh, you know, and because I don't store it in my phone, I need to. So, happy birthday to her boyfriend, Hal. Um, okay, so somebody, uh, no cats? Yeah, I used to have cats. I used to have a cat named Trance. Oh. And he cats. died at 18 years old. And so he died a couple of years ago. And my other cat, Magic, he's Black Magic, because what I do is Black Magic to some people. Uh, Magic died about a year and a half ago. And then my Doberman, Morpheus, who is the keeper between the dream world and the real world, um, which is why Morpheus was named that in the Matrix, because of that. Anyway, so and he, Morpheus in Greek mythology is the um, son of Hypnos, who is the Greek god of sleep. And his mother was Pasithia, who is the goddess of hallucination. So sleep and hallucination, or hallucinating while you sleep, makes a dream. So that's why we named the dog Morpheus. Uh, and he passed away last summer, so about a year ago, and uh, at about 10 years old, and he just collapsed in the yard. He was running around and just collapsed. Uh, and so that was sad, sad day, but uh, he was a good dog. And then we have Artemis and Apollo for a couple of reasons. Artemis, as I said, was the uh, keeper of young girls and Protect hunter, protector of young girls mm -hmm. and, and huntress. Uh, so, because we have so many young girls, we named the dog Artemis uh, for that reason. And uh, also, uh, then Apollo is Artemis's twin brother, and they're both the children of Zeus. And we also, a lot of my kids really like astrology, not astrology, astronomy, not astro astronomy. And they like the moon and the stars and NASA. You know, NASA and they, they went to space camp at NASA, which summer, uh, it was born and raised in Titusville, so she would always watch the shuttle launch. Uh, so my kids uh, got a chance to see uh, Falcon 9 launch a couple of years ago. Um, so they are really into that. And Apollo is obviously the moon mission, the uh, lunar missions. Um, and Artemis is the new mission going, uh, you know, in the next, I think, three or four years. It should be uh, all, all, all female crew, right? All female crew. So, Artemis so and Apollo. if they get the wrong, go the wrong way, they will ask for directions unlike all the men crew who refuse.
So there you go. So that's that. Uh, okay. Yeah. Go, go do. Go be a school teacher. Thanks okay. for stopping by. Always good to see you. Okay. So uh, all right. Uh, just in case is watching. Um, there was a maybe you're the same person. I don't know. But just in case there was a street performer named Just in Case who would, was an Australian guy who performed as a French uh, person who had this bike, this bike would break apart. And it was one of my favorite acts that I had ever seen um, in a street performing festival 25 years ago. So I don't know where he is or what he's doing. Maybe that's you. Maybe that's not. All right. Okay, let's see here. Um, it's really great to see all of you guys on board. I really appreciate that. Uh, oh, yes, the best of Las Vegas. Uh, don't forget. Oh, I mentioned that already. Um, don't forget. Uh, hi, Crystal Armstrong. Good to see you. Um, how are my stage assistants doing? Well, as you can just tell, I don't know uh, <laughs> because I don't see them. Uh, but we talk once in a while over text. And uh, But we're pretty quarantined here. I mean, it's nice. We have a, you know, I have a great property. I don't need to go anywhere. Um, so we don't go out. We don't go eat at restaurants. You know, we just chill and we hang out. And so it's been, it's been good. I don't really see them often, but we communicate. Um, I have ever met Roy Horn from Siegfried and Roy. Yes, I have met Siegfried and Roy. And uh, Roy passed away not too long ago, uh, but uh, they're wonderfully nice to me and uh, I've enjoyed meeting them. Um, Joy's asking, nice to see you again. Hope you'll see you next time we're on this side of the country. It'd be nice to be seen by anybody. Um, it's been uh, it's been pretty crazy. Uh, Frank Perry, hi Frank Perry, good to see you. Uh, there's a client of yours who's been fishing around and asked me about maybe taking hypnotherapy. So thanks for sending them my way. I'm not sure if she's gonna sign up or not, but we appreciate uh, uh, you doing so. Hope you are well, and kicking ass and taking names out there. Frank is a past student of mine and a stage hypnotist, and a very fine one at that. Uh, Ed's a Edward's asking, how long have I been collecting pinball machines? Uh, probably, um, I don't even know, six, eight, ten years, maybe ten years. And I just, as a matter of fact, sold a World Cup soccer, uh, Bally World Cup soccer. Just sold it to a guy in Texas and it left a couple of days ago. So I'm always, you know, getting new pieces and getting rid of old pieces. But I did get a very, very cool game, a bubble hockey game. And but I've modified it. I've taken the cover off and we've picked boards and I've got a video coming up in the next few weeks about it. I'm gonna kind of show you it. Uh, it's awesome. It's unlike anything you've ever seen. It is so fantastic. But right now I have that. I have the bubble hockey game without a bubble. Uh, and I, you know, Oiler fans out there, um, you guys know that the Oilers radio guys, Jack Michaels and Bob Stoffer, are the play-by-play -play guys. Well, I reached out to them and because you know they're friends of mine and uh, I said hey I need a favor from you guys are you guys willing to do this so I gave them scripts of all the things to say and they recorded everything and I've put their voices into the machine so now it's I'm gonna show you I can't wait to show you guys the video it is so sick it's really really cool uh, all right see Brent put the link up there for uh, vote for BOLV BOL appreciate that uh, finally your better half yeah, thanks a lot um, do I provide special trainings specifically to mental health therapists required to get CE credits? Finish my master's in May and be looking to start getting those CEs with beneficial certifications. No, I'm not set up as a vocational college or anything like that, so no. Um, I just do hypnotherapy training. Of course, you can take that and will it apply by, you know, by your organization? I don't know. Um, that remains to be seen. Uh, so I don't know. I don't know the answer to that, but I don't, uh, it's not provided that way. So, but some of them will get credit. I know some students who have gotten credit in the past before. All right. Uh, Annette's asking a couple of, um, a couple of questions. Firstly, for someone experiencing an ability to fall asleep because they can't shut their thoughts off, is this something that can be helped with hypnosis? If so, how many sessions will it take? Yes. As a matter of fact, you learned how not to sleep uh, because sleep is a natural process. It's something you knew how to do the moment you were born. Uh, before you were even born, you were sleeping in the womb. So it is something that's natural for your nervous system to do, but you've learned how not to do it. So yes, hypnosis can retrain that, but also simple uh, methods that might be helpful is to stop taking in information. Let your nervous system sort of reach an equilibrium before you go to bed. Uh, what I mean by that is turn off your TV, 
turn off your you know phone get off your iPad stop taking in light and information into your eyes because it takes some time for because that affects of course your circadian rhythms but it, it takes some time for your body to kind of regulate so about 15 or 20 minutes before bed just stop taking in information and you know get your clothes ready for the next day or you know water the plants or take the dog for a 20 minute walk before bed and just stop taking in information. That's vitally important. That'll change how you sleep. Uh, it'd be, it's hugely impactful. And I mean, I don't have a bedroom or TV in my bedroom. I, we don't, we don't watch TV in the room. Um, that's not the place for it. You know, watch out in the living room when we're done, turn it off and do our things and whatever, get ready for bed. And then our bodies had some time to kind of stop taking in stimulus. So that's important. And don't watch news before bed because you know news is very oh it you know, gets you all worked up and you know fires adrenaline and cortisol and you don't want any of that so um, you know stop doing that. Uh, Brittany's asking how long have Kate and I been together? Uh, uh, like three years. Um, yeah, something like that. Um, two and a half, three years. Yeah. So uh, she's awesome. Kate's pretty fantastic. Uh, all right, let's see here. A couple of questions we have going through here. Um, uh, been saying, yeah, when I, I get that, when I present myself as a hypnotist, and I've been, I've been much more successful with that. Yeah, that's the truth. Because again, your family doesn't see you as a hypnotist. They see you as, you know, your family member. So not to say that it can't be done. You can hypnotize people. Um, that's for sure. But it's a little more challenging. Um, uh, Wander saying, I just want to say that we've been enjoying your show in Vegas for 10 years. Um, that's uh, crazy. We appreciate the support you come in every year. That's awesome. Um, Emmanuel is saying bonjour de la France. Bonjour, Emmanuel. Merci de uh, venir. All right. So, audio set. Chris is asking, uh, I have some of your audio sessions. How often should I use them? Is it possible to do too much? No, it's not possible to do too much hypnosis. Is it possible to sleep too much? Not really. Is it possible to meditate too much? Not really, unless that's all you're doing. You're staying in hypnosis and you're avoiding the rest of your life. Then there's a bigger issue at hand. But no, hypnosis is so good for you. Um, the more you put into it, the more you get out of it. It's like working out in the gym, right? You work out three days a week, you get some great results. You spend three days a week working on your mind, you're gonna get great results. Spend five days a week, better results. So again, there's no danger, you knock yourself out. Uh, the more you use it, the better you'll be. Uh, Dan Vitaletti is saying he lost 20 pounds using a weight loss audio. Oh, that's fantastic. Uh, congratulations. Just don't listen to it backwards because you'll put the 20 back on in no time at all. Never listen to them backwards. Uh, tell the street sweeper to keep it down. Yeah. yeah. No respect for Facebook Live. Um, okay, so let's see here. Uh, a couple of questions. Um, uh, how's my stash of Canadian candies doing? Uh, it's horrible. I'm out. I'm out of Canadian goodies. No Canadians are coming to Vegas and all family and friends and whatever. They come see the show and many of them bring a little care package with some Canadian goodies in it, which has been awesome. Uh, but we, the kids are very upset because we're out of popcorn twists. twists. Uh, so they're distraught that we have no popcorn twists. So that's the biggest thing. Uh, and, uh, you know, so yeah, that sucks. But well, we still have hickory sticks. So we still have those hickory sticks. And those are awesome. Uh, Jared, voting you each and every day. Best of Las Vegas. Thank you, sir. Uh, I hope you're doing well. It's been forever. Uh, you are one of my favorite people that worked at the theater, so I miss you. Uh, so that's awesome. Uh, Kate saying, Kate helped my husband with over uh, with an overwhelming uh, either tinnitus or tinnitus, depending on where you're from and how you pronounce that. Good. I'm glad that he got some results. I know she enjoyed doing the uh, color thing with you as well, so um, I know she's talked about that. Oh, Artemis, you're bringing me the treat. Your toy. Okay, so we taught the dog something. We'll see if she'll do it for you guys. Uh, okay, come, 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 come. Okay, sit down, down, come on, down. Don't be, don't be scared. Down, come, 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 Okay, so, oh, I can order Canadian goodies off Amazon. Yeah, we have ordered some in the past, um, but I haven't looked if, uh, if there's any uh, popcorn twists. But, uh, and Jamie's asking, in my opinion, other than entertainment, is there practical use for the handshake induction? Yeah, I use the handshake, not necessarily the handshake induction, but a pressing hand 
uh, type of induction where you move the hand and it's like a rapid induction. I use that in therapy all the time. So yeah, there is an application there for sure, for sure. Um, Patty's saying, my husband loved watching me on stage. I came in second place in the lollipop licking championship, the <laughs> licking the lollipop. Uh, he wanted to see you again, but re recently passed away. I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, that's so sad. I'm glad that uh, you guys enjoyed uh, the experience together. And it's, it's a memory that you can look back on. Um, and uh, and that's great. So um, I'm so sorry to hear that, but I'm glad you guys uh, came to the show. And uh, second place, that's, that's impressive. Uh, Ben saying, when you do a show, can you pick me? I always love participating. Of course, of course. All right, any other questions you guys might have? I know we're just kind of, it's been a while since I've done one of these and uh, it's really good to uh, connect with some of you guys. Um, if not, um, I appreciate you guys coming on, on board. Um, remember, uh, if you want to learn hypnosis, Hypnosis 101 has a really cool class, 21 hours stage hypnosis, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, 44 hours of training there and we're starting the hypnotherapy next week if you want to be a hypnotherapist and a people helping uh, profession where you can help others get the most out of their uh, most out of their life by getting the most out of their mind and body. Um, you guys are awesome. Maybe we'll do this again. Keep your eye on uh, uh, through my emails or Facebook and we'll let you guys know when I'm back on to do another live thing. So take, take care everybody and we'll see you guys again real soon.